Good day everyone! Our topic for today is all about the history of basketball wherein in this topic we are going to discuss about who invented basketball, what are the first 13 rules in playing basketball, and what are the different facilities and equipments in playing basketball. I know marami makaka-relate dito kasi Filipinos are fond of watching and playing basketball. Okay. Let us first define what is basketball. Basketball is a team sport played by two teams of five players on a rectangular court. The objective is to shoot a ball through a hoop 18 inches or 46 centimeter in a diameter and mounted at a height of 10 feet or 3.048 meters to backboards at each end of the court. So just like in our previous topic, kailangan alam din natin kung sino nag-invent ng basketball. The game was invented in December 1891 by Dr. James Nysmith, who would be the first basketball coach of the Kansas Jayhawks, one of the most successful program in the game's history. James Nysmith was born on November 6, 1861 and died on November 28, 1939. He was a Canadian-American physical educator, physician, chaplain, sport coach, and innovator. So, siya po, si Dr. James Nysmith, is the one who invented basketball on December. Kasi po, kung mapapansin nyo, sa ibang bansa, December is winter. Okay? So, since he was a professor under Young's Men's College of Association or yung YMCA na kasamahan din po niyang professor si William G. Morgan, ito po yung way kung saan nag-isip sila ano po bang pwedeng laro or sports ang pwede nilang i-invent para magkaroon ng inside play ang mga bata or mga student or mga colleagues para matuloy pa rin yung physical fitness nila kahit na taglamig sa kanila. Okay? So, because of that, nung dinemonstrate niya to gamit ang pitch basket, yung basket, at also yung soccer ball, pinakita niya sa mga kasamahan niya na ganito to laruin. So, ang gagawin lang yung soccer ball, isushoot dun sa basket, and then, kukuhanin uli yung bola, Tapos, pagpapasapasahan. Yun muna yung unang game ng basketball. So, ang unang suggestion ng mga student niya, why don't we call it nice meet game? Kasi nga, sino ba nag invento Si Dr. James. But later on, pinaltan to ng basketball kasi po, nakita naman nila, based dun sa kanilang observation, na why don't we call it basketball since ang larong ito is all about basket and a ball. Okay? So, ganun po nag-start yung pangalang basketball. Okay? What are those 13 original rules given by Dr. Nysmith? The ball was may, may be thrown in any direction with one or both hands. Okay? The ball may be battled in any direction with one or both hands, never with the fist. Okay? A player cannot run with the ball. So, meaning to say, basta po, itong larong ito, once na nahawakan mo yung bola, kailangang ibabato mo lang. Okay? Ihahagis mo lang sa kabilang opponent. So, hindi pwedeng mag-stack sa'yo ang bola. So, yun po yung paglalaro ng basketball noon. Na hindi tulad ngayon na kailangan mong i-dribble, na pwede mo siyang itakbo bago mo siya ipasa sa kalaban. So, in this 13 rules, kailangan once na hawak mo yung bola, ibabato mo agad sa kasape. So, pasahan lang ng bola ang nangyayari. Okay. The player must thrown it from the spot on which he catches it. So, yun nga po sinabi ko. And allowance to be made for a man who catches the ball when running at a good speed if he tries to stop. The ball must be held in or between the hand. The arm or body must not be used for holding. No shouldering. So, yung bawal ng panini ko. Holding, pushing, tripping, or striking. So, just like po nung ating rules and regulation nowadays, so, bawal po yan. Maniko, manulak, okay? So, in any way, the person of an opponent shall be allowed. The first infringement of this rule by any player shall count as a foul. So, once nagkaroon ng panunulak, okay, Paniniko. So, yung po, paghawak sa player. So, it should be counted as foul. So, katulad lang din po kung ano pong uh, trabaho, uh, anong laro natin ngayon. Okay? The second shall disqualify him until the next goal is made. So, dito po sa 13 original rules, 
may ch- dalawang chances lang ang pwedeng mangyari sa iyo. So una isa foul kapag inulit mo uli pa dalawang beses disqualified ka na. So in playing basketball ngayon, parang may ilang fouls ka bibilangin, lima, tsaka ka magkakaroon ng disqualification. Okay? If there was an evident intent to injure the person, for the whole of the game, no substitute allowed. Okay? So, once na maraming na foul, maraming na disqualify sa game nyo hanggang sa maubos. Yun lang po yun. So, ang mangyayari, kapag naglalaro, nagkaroon ng violation ng kakampi mo, natanggal sila, hindi mo sila pwedeng palitan hanggang sa magkaubusan na. Okay? Hindi tulad ngayon na once na disqualified, may pumapalit sa position. A foul is striking at the ball with the fist, violation of rules 3 and 4 and such as described in rule number 5. So, bawal po siyang gamitan ng kamao. If either side make 3 consecutive fouls, it should count a goal for the opponent. Okay? Consecutive means without the opponent in the means time making a foul. Okay? A goal shall be made when the ball is thrown or battled from the grounds into the basket and stay there, providing those defending the goal do not touch or disturb the goal. If the ball rests on the edges and the opponent moves the basket, it shall count as a goal. Okay, number nine. When the ball goes out of bounds, so kapag daw po tumalsek dun out of sa linya, it shall be thrown in the field of play by the person first touching it in case of a dispute, the umpire shall throw it straight into the field. The thrower in is allowed 5 seconds. If he holds it longer, it should it shall go to the opponent. If any side persists in delaying the game, the umpire shall call a foul on the side. Okay, number 10. The umpire shall be judge of the men and shall note the fouls and notify the referee when... Three consecutive fouls have been made. He shall have power to disqualify men according to rule number 5. The referee shall be judge of the ball and shall decide when the ball is in play, in bounds, to which side it belongs, and shall keep the time. He shall decide when a goal has been made, and keep account of the goals with any other duties that are usually performed by a referee. The time shall be two minutes, uh, 15 minutes halves with 5 minutes rest between. Okay, comment. Game formats including length and the number of periods play along with the halftime period vary according to level. Number 13, decide making the most goals in that time shall be declared the winner. In case of a draw, the game may be agreement of the captain, captains be continued until another goal is made. So whenever kapag nagkaroon dun sa 15 minutes at nagkaroon po sila ng tie or draw, so, bibigyan uli sila ng pagkakataon na maglaro at kung sinong unang makagoal siya po ang mananalo. Okay? So, in that case, the first, the 13th first rule of, the first 13th rules of playing basketball is medyo complicated. Kasi po, hindi mo siya pwedeng i-dribble. So, pasahan lang ng bola hanggang ma-shoot doon sa pitch basket. Okay? So, ano po yung bola noon? The first ball that was used was a soccer ball makikita nyo sa picture until 1840 when an actual basketball was invest, invented the basketball was slightly smaller about 30 inches in diameter next this is the first basket kung makikita nyo yan ay yung pitch basket the first basket wa, that were used were two pitch basket that were hung from the balcony of the gym by 1906, the pitch basket were replaced by metal basket with the hose in the bottom. In 1913, a hoop with the net was invented to the basketball could free, fall freely to the ground. So, ito po yung kauna-unahang basket kung saan ginamit nila yung basket ng pitch basket. And then, kapag po sumot dyan, mayroon silang stick na itinutusok sa baba para po mailabas yung bola. And then later on, binutasan nila ang ilalim para diretso na pong sumushoot. So, after noon, nagkaroon sila ng another innovation kung paano ba makakapagkaroon ng mas magandang play through using this basket. Okay? How about the backboards? In 1893, due to the over uh, spectators interfering with the basketball, the backboard was invented. The first 
backboard was constructed out of wire mesh and then wood and now it is made out of glass so the backboard does not interfere with the viewing of the game okay so yan po yung una and what are those facilities and equipment used in game basketball so ito na po yung ngayon na ginagawa natin Facilities and equipment used for the basketball, it is the only essential or the basic and fundamental equipment in basketball is the basketball and the court, a flat rectangular surface with baskets at the opposite ends. Okay? So you look at the picture, this is the basketball court wherein it is a rectangular, makikita nyo sa picture, and it, in both sides, kailangan nandoon yung ring. Okay? Next, Basketball court for the international games is 28 by 15 meters, approximately 92 by 49 feet. Okay, the National Basketball Association or NBA is 94 by 50 feet or 29 by 15 meters. Most courts are made of wood. Okay, a steel basket with a net and backboard hang over each end of the court at almost all levels of the competition. The top of the rim is exactly 10 feet or 3.05 meters above the court and 4 feet or 1.2 meters inside the baseline. So that is the basketball court. How about yung backboard? Yung nakita nyo po kanina, yung pinagdidikitan ng ring. A backboard is a piece of basketball equipment. It is raised vertical board with the basket attached. It is made of flat rigid piece of material open flexi glass it is usually rectangular as used in NBA, CAAA and international basketball okay, how about its size, the size of basketball backboards with width of 6 feet or 72 inches the height should be 3.5 feet or 42 inches and how about the size of the basketball rim, yung pong uh, yung ating pinagsusutan, yung uh, bakal the diameter of the rim is 18 inch. So, kung makikita nyo po, yung pinakamalaking bila, o kung makikita nyo, 18 inches po. Ganun po kalaki yung, uh, should be the diameter or the mouth of the basketball rim. As you, uh, as you look at the picture, so ito po yun, backboard, itong ating babasagin. While dito, nakalagay sa kanya is our basketball rim. So, yan pong, uh, yang orange with the net and then how about the backboard padding so yung backboard padding po makikita nyo yung nasa gilid so bakit po may ganyan so in case di ba may mga nagdadunk may nagle lay up so most especially para magkaroon ng safety precautions so yan po yung nilagay and that is what we call backboard padding okay how about the basket net the net shall be made by a white cord shall be suspended from the ring Manufacture so they check the ball momentarily as it pass through the basket. So, bawat po equipments na meron sa basketball, manet man yan, maring, or yung ating tinatawag na backboard, so lagi po yung may measurement. Hindi lang basta po yung net na pinagdikit-dikit. No less than 400 millimeters and no more 450 in length. It is manufactured with 12 loops to attach it to the ring. Okay? In basketball net, the upper section of the net shall be semi-rigid to prevent the net from rebounding up through over the ring, creating possible entanglement, the ball from becoming trapped in the net or rebounding back out of the net. And this is the different example of the ball. The ball is round and the other casing should be either leather, rubber, or other suitable synthetic material. So, as you can see, yan po yung mga kilalang bola na ginagamit natin kapag naglalaro ng basketball. So, in FIBA, Molten Official, we have Spalding and we have for N Spalding for NBA and we also have the baller. So, it should be leather, rubber, or other suitable synthetic material. Okay? The circumference or yung pagkakabilog niya, yung shape niya, between 75 and 78 cm and it should be 29.5 and 30.25 inches. How about the weight? It should be 600 and 650 grams or 20 and 22 oz. The air pressure inside, yung hangin sa loob ng bola, it should be around 8 pounds. 
okay? And this is also the different pictures of ball, aside from yung kanina. So, we have the Wilson or NCAA, the Mikasa, and the Baden. Next, how about the clothing? Kaya mapapansin nyo, iba-iba ba diba po, pagandahan ng jersey. So, because it is also part of playing basketball. Players each team should wear the same outfit which must do not clash with the opposing team and wear a number shirt and no two players in the same team should wear the same number. And that is the reason kaya po sa bawat paglalaro dapat may hindi ang isang team ay hindi dapat magkakapareho ang numbers. Okay? Players are numbered between 4 and 15 and I guess hindi na po yan nasusunod kasi if numbers between 4 and 15 may mga players or NBA tayong nakikita na iba-iba ng number 23, 36 okay? so iba-iba pong number how about men's basketball shoes so ito ang mga pinapangarap ng mga basketball players ma, ma kapatid man, ma tatay diba? most especially basta sila ay in game with basketball talagang first aim nila is magkaroon ng magandang sapatos kasi Kung makikita nyo sa pictures, ito'y nakakatulang para makapaglaro, para maging comfortable ang kanilang play. Next, how about women's shoes? So, as you can see in the other countries, even in the Philippines, may mga players na tayo ng women's. Okay? In playing basketball. And, how about the clothing? Loose fitting shorts for mobility. So, ibig sabihin, hindi dapat fit na fit, na dikit na dikit sa katawan. Yung ating clothing. And the sleeveless best are the standard attire. Okay? Basketball shoes should be rubber sold and with protected ankle support although these are not necessary. Most important of all, make sure your clothing is comfortable and it's important to wear toweled sock. And it is not a bad idea to buy a pair of shoes a little too big to enable you to wear two pairs of socks which will be reduce the risk of blistering. So, according to about clothing, if ever you are wanted to play basketball, mas maganda na bilhin mo yung medyo luag na sapatos. Kasi, iba pa yung size niya eh, pag nagsuot ka ng medyas. Next, as you can see in the picture, so yan po yung ating example of standard basketball clothing. And, how about the game clock? Okay, it is also important kasi ito yung nag-i-indicate anong oras ng uh, ano na ba yung ating time. This is a clock that runs whenever the ball is in play and stop whenever the ball, uh, the ball goes out of bounds or when a foul is a foul is committed. That is not a foul, it is a foul. Goal tending. Uh, game clock operation, last minutes of play or field game, the clock stops after a successful field goal. So this is an example of game clock noong una pong panahon or mga sa mga makikita nyo sa ating mga liga, mga basic po so yan ang example ng kanilang game clock, while also game clock show how much time remains in the game give and go, a fundamental offensive play in which a player passes to a teammate, then cuts to the basket and receive a quasi immediate return pass for an open layup or dunk track remaining game time regulation play in the NBA is divided into 12 minutes quarter. So, in every quarter, it is divided in 12 while kapag mga babae naman na naglalaro, it should be 10 minutes. Games are split into 20 minutes halves give and go. How about scoreboard? Board? It is a large board for publicly displaying the score in a game or match. Most level of sports from high school and above use of least one scoreboard for keeping score measuring time and displaying statistics okay so the reason why yung iba makikita nyo ito yung four sided scoreboard na nakikita natin sa mga magagandang uh, gym okay kahit doon sa atin sa cultural okay so yan po yung makikita nyo kaya minsan gag yung mga nanonood ng basketball nakatingala sila kasi nandoon yung oras at saka yung uh, score ng mga magkalaban. Okay? And this is a single-sided scoreboard. So, makikita nyo din po yan sa ating mga barangay. May mga nag-aadhika na po ng ganyan. Next is, this is a place where expertators line. So, dyan nyo po sila makikita yung other players sa gilid. Okay? How about the function and positions of the player? 
Okay? In playing basketball, kailangan alam din natin kung sino or ano ang position nila. Okay? The first one is the play mar may, uh, playmaker or the ball handler. So, yung iba, ang tawag sa kanila is the point guard. Okay? How about the second one? A team's best outside shooter or what we call the shooting guard. The third one is a quicker and learner the power forward or the center. So, sila yung quicker na tinatawag. Or, other term is small forward. In number four, makikita nyo dito sa kanan, skilled rebounder, wherein ang tawag sa kanila is the power forward. While in fifth one, place the baseline near the basket, wherein ang tawag sa kanila is the center. Okay? Ano pong pinagkaiba-iba ba nila? First, shooting guard, small forward, center, power forward, and the point guard. Okay, what are the function and positions of player? Point guard, this player is typically the best dribbler and passer on the team. The point guard is sometimes called the floor general, which indicates the key role that the point guard plays. How about the shooting guard? The shooting guard, also called the two guard, is typically a team's best outside shooter on the team. This player plunks the point guard and moves around the court to try to create some space to take a shot that is uncontested by the opposition. Okay, how about the small forward? The small forward is typically a better outside shooter than a power forward and is usually smaller than a power forward. Okay, how about power forward? The power of forward is usually near the basket and moves from one side of the basket to the other to try to get free from the opposition player that is guarding him. Power forwards also are skilled rebounders, while the last one is the center is the tallest player on the team. The center role is establish a position near the basket to allow him herself an easy jump shot. On defense, the center attempts to block shots and grab rebound. So, in other words, kahit po ano-ano yung mga function or position na ibibigay sa iyo in playing basketball, you should be responsible at maging cooperative. Because in playing basketball, it is not only about skills. Okay? Kailangan nandoon din po yung cooperation and coordination with your teammates. And that is the reason maraming nagiging successful na basketball team. It is because of mismo yung team na yon hindi kung sino ang nagdadala so and also in playing basketball kailangan i-appreciate natin yung iba't ibang position or yung mga players doon kasi they have different specialized skills na kaya sila pinili doon okay and that is our topic all about okay